Coming through. What's up, man? How about we go for a ride in the chopper? Man, B, that's a sweet idea. We'll pimp it up with the sky. First class shit. Pick me up in an hour, bro. Sounds good. I'll come get you, Brucey. Excuse me. Okay, Nico, girls, let's get in the chopper. Take us over to Broker Bridge. That thing is almost as cut as my delts. So what do you guys got planned later on? Shit, Nicky. We're close and all that, but I ain't sharing these girls like that. I mean, what we're gonna do is private, bro. You wanna have a good time, babes? Yes. What about you, hot stuff? Naturally. brucie has gotta put on some good shit for you, babe. After this, we're going back to my place, and I'm getting out the massage oil. You like the sound of that? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna oil up my arms and chest. Then I'm gonna let you fine ladies watch me do some reps. I'll be flexing the kind of body you tell your grandkids about. And if that don't get you hot, then call the morgue, because you bitches gotta be dead. You looking forward to that? No, thank you. Dream on. They're real lucky girls, Brucey. <laughs> real lucky. Dwayne, you want to head to the strip club? Okay, yeah. I'll wait for you for an hour. I'm on my way over. Hey, man, you look well. Let's go. How you doing? Okay, I think. Yeah, me too. Shit's on the up, I hope. Although, as soon as I say that, I begin to worry. I remember my dad used to always say, expect the worst, then you can only be pleasantly surprised. he say that, then he hit me. He doesn't sound like a nice man. Guy was a fucking fool. He got his, though. He tried to rip off some local dealers. 
I remember the night they killed him. There was a knock at the door. My mom cried, but I don't think she meant it. I hope she didn't. You know what I felt? No. I felt nothing, man. Nothing. Not happy, not sad, just nothing. My pop's dead, and I didn't feel a damn thing. Shit's fucked up. Later, man. Good to hang with you. Kate, uh, it is Nico. Uh, we met with your brother, Becky. Uh, he gave me your number. Hi, Nico. What's up? I was wondering if uh, you wanted to come out with me sometime. Or maybe we do something together. Okay, that could be interesting. I don't normally socialize with Packy's gangster friends. But sure, pick me up in the next hour. See you then. Come on, let's go! Nice! Thanks. 
Thanks, Kate. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? Outside us, them are being drilled through the corners. I haven't That's played pool in ages. A long time we are waiting for your fight. Whopping! I think I've won. Want another game? Peace and love. Well done. You beat a girl. This is nice, isn't it? What's nice? I don't know. Getting out, doing stuff, not working or fighting with my family, getting to know you. It's nice to get to know you, too. It seems like I've gotten pretty close to everyone else in your family. <laughs> you poor bastard, you have. I don't normally socialize with people that know my family. I try to keep those two sides of my life separate. I guess it's nice to be honest for a change. Rather than keeping my secrets about my family from you, you're probably keeping secrets about my family from me. No comment. You don't normally take the guys you date back to meet the family? Date? This isn't a date, Nico. We're just getting to know each other. We might be friends and that's all. I couldn't date you. Someone like my brothers? I couldn't do that to myself. All right, then. This isn't a date. We're just two people hanging out. That's it. But it's nice. I'm enjoying myself. Me too. I guess this is good night then. You're a great guy for a maniac, but I'm going to bed. Good night. Goodbye, Kate. Remember, if we meet any strangers, kill them! I bet these punks have no capacity whatsoever for peaceful coexistence, drive through liquor stores, gun shops, or the democratic freedom to have their votes discarded in swamps! Shit, they better learn how to pray in school! Oh, give it a rest! They're fucking savages, dick! Hey, here's one now. The gods were right! You've come! Welcome to our peaceful land of plenty! What is he saying? This son of a bitch doesn't even speak American! Yes, I do. I said welcome! Ow! You prick! You shot me in the tentacle! No problem. It will grow back. Listen, I forgive you, brother. Carrying around the burden of hate is worse for me than those I despise. What on God's green earth is he saying? I don't know. Sound like some Tai Chi Chuan Fandango transvestite bullshit. I don't know. I was thinking the exact same thing. See, I recognize some of the words, but the sentiment seem simplistic and, well, foreign, if you will. I don't understand what anybody's saying. I just want to shoot. Enemies out there, boys. The enemies out there. No. The enemy's inside. Listen, guys, welcome. We've arranged a welcome party with a tequila slide. Good times. 
We'll get started with massages from attractive she-aliens. Then, after hand release, we'll You better stop trying to buy my men off with your women! Ditto! Yeah! I hate women! Oh, uh, sorry. We mean no offense. Listen, we really need your help. We are a loving, peaceful race. Last menstrual moon cycle, an evil race of aliens invaded and began imposing their will on us. They enslave many of my people, steal our natural resources with no-bid contracts while destroying our culture. Can you help? Oh no, here comes one of them now. What are you saying? Sharing scum. I was explaining to these manly space rangers how you've enslaved my people. Of course we have. You've got resources we need, and besides which, we are evil and greedy. <laughs> I like this little guy. He's Stokeheads going head to head and giving it in a race to see who can visit the most STD clinics and rehabs. It's glamour, guts, and really gross greed. From diamond-encrusted glory holes to the proper pronunciation of Ibiza or Ibiza. We've got a full half hour of gawking at the possessions of rich people and thinking, that should so be me. Why am I a vapid waste of a human being? Maybe I'll blow my brains out during commercials. All because you're not on I'm Rich. First up, Chloe Parker. If you don't know who she is, you're a pop culture retard, and that's deadly serious. This 24-year-old sometime felcher, an heiress to a magnastronomosity of a fortune to the tune of $950 billion. She's one seriously hot number. She's got fake tits stuffed with rubies as well. It's luxury plastic surgery taken to a whole new level. Now, to fill up time, a person is going to repeat what I just said in a different way while we watch the same footage again. Chloe Parker is 24 years old and really hot. She's worth a lot of money and is totally vapid. She's had a lot of plastic surgery, but otherwise is devoid of meaning. She's rich. She's got it all, and money is everything. She has a daddy, money, and one of those tiny little dogs that rich people keep in their vagina. I want one of those so badly. Woof, woof. So you think your daddy is nice? Chloe Parker went from... People are worried about that, though, because... the atomic bomb. Oh, it ended a war, which is good but the effects are still being felt, which is bad. And it was invented by Einstein, and he's a genius, in his uh, 1907 paper. Get in this collection, the Lonely Wolf Combat Style Knife with Extreme Satin Finish. Fits your hand perfectly. I used this knife yesterday. I cut a tree down to the size of a baseball bat. Five and four. Stick it in his throat. Grab him squarely by the... Your register says a strange planet on the insurgent scan. Well, it's on the... Off. Ain't nobody gonna take me down there. Whoa, whoa, hold up now, girl. Guys, you're paying less than ten... Gila On There he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican Coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you and Brett Halfwit? <laughs> I make 
a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three <laughs> times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Let's do this. Here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians, while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I ain't never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. Not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4. Not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Shifting it! Here we are. Wait until you're inside to get ballied up. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. 
the PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why we... are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! Ooh. Fuck! Oh. We told you not to oh. fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids! Just want to take the bank's money and get out of here. I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys.
Shit, they followed us down here. They're in the subway, too. Shit, they got me pinned down. what we needed, boys. More fucking cops. Shit, 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 shit. Michael, damn it. I could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life. Kid only wanted to help. He loved you, Packy. He was happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Algonquin. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to us, huh? Neither do I. I like it. Have a nice 
This is the way to do it, Nico. Holy shit! We're fucking shifting it! Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. I got a favor to ask you. What is it? Well, you've been spending time with the rest of my family. I figured you may as well complete the set. You remember my brother Derek? Came along on the bank job? Sure. He's in a bad way. Last I heard, he was spending his hours in some park, an actor. Go down and check on him. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find him. Man. My ma says that I gotta take you to a show since you ain't from Liberty City. What do you think? We could go see something. I'll pick you up in the next hour. We got a plan, Nico. I'll wait for you.
We need some vehicular transport. Nico, boy, how's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Trying to make ends meet. Aren't we all, Nico? Aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water, other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> That's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. It's this fucking chop that's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it. But once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get a heart. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. Mr. Ricky Gervais! Whoa. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it really is me. Calm down. I do a lot of work for charity. I don't do enough. They say you can always do more. But I look at it like this. It's a pain, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing in it for me. Do a lot of work for, um, cancer. That's my chosen charity. Do a lot of work for people with cancer. And they're welcome to it. But I will say this. If I ever get cancer myself, I'm going to walk into the nearest hospital and go, right, I paid for that machine. Get that little bald fucker off it. <laughs> Talking of, um, little bald fuckers, I did the teenage cancer gig last year. What? No, I'd done it two years before, but they called again last year. We're still ill. <laughs> you lasted. It's a great gig, though. The kids with cancer get in for free and you meet them afterwards and, you know... They come backstage and you sign stuff for them. And I was doing the gig this last year. And I looked down and I recognised one of them. And I thought, oh, yeah, he came backstage two years ago. He was telling me about his illness and he said he was 18. And that was then, that was two years ago, so now he must be 20. So how the fuck is he still a teenager? <laughs> and I was doing the gig and he was laughing along. And I was thinking, yeah, you laugh it up, mate. I was fuming. And eventually it got too much for me. And I went, all right, mate, I recognise you. I went, hello, yeah. You came backstage two years ago, I went, yeah. I said, you said you were 18 then? I went, yeah, so you're 20 now? I went, yeah. I said, get out. <laughs> and I called security, and they came. He struggled, but he was weak. I mean, I think they'd worked out, because they... Although they had trouble getting hold of him to start with, you know, but eventually they... His drip nearly had someone's eye out. The crowd started booing. I went, hear that? They don't want to see someone like you take the piss out of me. No money. <laughs> I do a lot of work for AIDS as well. I've worked for AIDS charities for many years, from the mid to late 80s. And back then, people, they didn't know what this new disease, what's this new disease called AIDS? I mean, it's gone from strength to strength now, hasn't it? It's gone global, it's doing very well. <laughs> Got its own day and everything. World AIDS Day, 1st of December. I don't think it'll ever take off like Christmas. We don't do anything in our house, no decorations. You can't even get a card. They don't do, sorry, you got AIDS cards. They don't exist. A uh, fascinating fact about AIDS. People always learn stuff from my lectures. This is absolutely true. The HIV virus was actually a combination of two separate viruses in rhesus monkeys, and it formed a, a rudimentary form of AIDS. And uh, this was passed to chimpanzees. Sometimes chimps will get a bloodlust and they'll eat a, a rhesus monkey, and it sort of mutated and evolved in chimpanzees. And because we're 98.6% genetically identical to chimpanzees, it was able to be passed to humans. And the first human contracted AIDS when he was chopping up chimp meat and cut his finger. Although that's the excuse I'd have given. 
He's actually come up with something, yeah. Doctor goes, well, you're the first human to contract AIDS. You know, is that bad? Yeah, it can be. Well, how would I have got that? Two ways. One, you were fucking a chimp up the arse. No way. What's the other way I could have got it? Uh, well, I suppose you could have been chopping up a chimp and cut your finger. That one. I bet he went straight out to the jungle and found that chimp. And went, Oi, you fucking gave me AIDS. I gave you what? You gave me AIDS. I gave you a blowjob. Shush. No, I got AIDS from you. Well, how did I get AIDS? From eating monkeys. <laughs> I don't eat monkeys. You're either eating them or fucking them. <laughs> I was eating them. Tastes like chicken. That's how it happened. Thanks very much. Good night. Good to see you, Nico. Give me a call. 